What's going on YouTube? So um, it's been a little while since I've made a video and I've had people ask me to uh, make a video of the MET project as it's uh, going along. And it uh, looks a little different than the last time I had it on the camera. Um, some of you guys that are on Facebook have probably seen some of the pictures I've been posting up, but uh, it's a little video for you. Um, as it sits right now, it looks pretty fucking good. Um, but the whole rear section is uh, gonna be out of here. Um, as we speak, um, I mean, not exactly right now, but I'm fabbing up a, a custom rear frame. Um, and uh, you see these uh, rear pegs, the rear sets down here. Um, I'm actually gonna fab up the frame so that the rear sets are welded on. I'm um, trying to make the whole rear section basically one piece. Um, so I'm gonna, I don't know if I'm gonna cut those up or uh, make my own, or maybe uh, just get in touch with somebody that can make a really legit set of them. So I can just weld them on so that that black piece right there is not gonna be there. It's just gonna be one piece, the whole frame. Um, the seat frame's not gonna be there. Uh, the Recaro seat's not gonna be there. Um, I'm going with a, a bopper style uh, single seat from what you would uh, see in like the older older bikes or the retro looking bikes. Um, also have the, uh, this pipe isn't gonna stay on here, I don't think. Um, it does clear the rear set, which is good, so my foot won't touch it. The back of my shoe won't touch that pipe and burn my shoe. So I have to find something else that's like that. I'm not sure what. Um, don't know what's going on with the rear wheel. Uh, I may keep it, might not, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna get a CBD, CBT cover, um, an ankle biter, and a brace so that the uh, frame on the uh, motor case doesn't break. Um, valve cover, I have a, a black one without the power valve on it um, that I just got from Dates, good looking out. Uh, that's gonna go on there. This does have the 171 on it. Uh, it's got the 30 mil OKO slide carb, or OCO, however you wanna say it. Um, right now it's got a powdered black Composimo mount on it, but uh, that's coming off. I'm gonna get the uh, the weld on mounts for the frame. So like I said, it's gonna be one piece. Um, I do have the center shock, the bottom piece already made. You might've seen the video for that. Um, I still need to uh, get it put onto the rear frame. I'm cutting up right now. Um, Basically the rear frame. I'll show you that in a minute, I guess. But um, this is what it looks like so far, just for you guys that wanted to see it. Um, these bars are sick as fuck. Christian really really made them bitches good or got them made good, whatever. They're sick, love them. Um, this is just a uh, powdered stock set of uh, rear brakes right now. I don't have the cable hooked up. Um, Ran into a problem with this because I put the buttons back in because I'm probably I was going to use these but I'm not sure. Um, it does have the turn signals and the horn here. Um, I put the starter button back in on this because it didn't have the starter. It didn't have the on-off switch, so I, I got a uh, an old Metropolitan set. I scavenged the pieces and put them back in there because this is the the originals original ruckuses again. They're just powdered black. Um, I have the Nissan front hydraulic. So, um, it's down here too. Got the 220 millimeter rotor on front, just the stock brakes in the rear. Um, I do have the LED turns that are down there. Um, I gotta repair this and I'm cutting these out so that these shocks fit, fit in there because I'm using, instead of the Metropolitan triple, I have the uh, Ruckus triple, which is wider. So you have to cut that. So once I'm finished and I'm happy with it, you can see I heated it up so it sits in there better, but I wanna trim it out a little nicer and then I'm gonna paint this so you shouldn't be able to see that. Um, headlight dates again, hooked it up. Um, it's a smoke headlight, usually they're clear. I have a light on this now so you can see in there. Um, you see it's got the LED in there. Uh, if I remember right, it's called a five shot. It's got the five LED in there. 
but uh just looks a lot better with that than the really chrome and shiny um, light that's usually on there and that's pretty much it um it's definitely definitely good looking i love it but uh it's getting kind of dark out here but i did want to make a video so uh i don't know how this is going to turn out I'm trying to focus on it but it's not working real well but uh there's that but now i'm around over here and uh show you guys um this is a battery relocation box for the uh the met rock um again dates hooked it up and there's the cover i was talking about the valve cover and uh here is the rear frame i'm chopping up right now um took all the tabs off you can see a bunch of shit's been taken off you know everything's grinded down still needs a lot more but uh this is coming off this piece is coming off um this crossbar i started grinding it down smoothing it out but it's coming off um this piece right here this piece right here coming off this piece right here coming off i'm going to put new gussets on both sides um then the uh the piece i'm not sure i'm looking around for it right now i don't know where it is right now it's in the shithole um the top part for this the uh center shock will go across here and then uh probably mount my seat uh frame to that so my seat will be in here and um what i'm thinking about doing is depending on how far i cut this back i may wind up just keeping this on this bar because what I'm going to do is chop this straight because I won't need this. Um, let me chop this straight. You know, I'm, I'm not sure where again. But um, and in the back side of here and here, I'm going to see if I can find some uh, LEDs or something that go in here that'll function as a turn and a brake light on both sides. Um, I still got some research to do on that. Um, but yeah, that's probably going to be it. And again, I don't know if I'm going to chop it back here or here or wherever. It depends where my shock, my uh, center shock mount goes and uh, where my seat's going to go. And then I'm just going to support it across from here to here and then cut it maybe an inch behind that. And um, probably at a slight angle so that the lights are facing more straight out. But yeah, I'm going to try and put a light here and a light here. Um, right here, the uh, rear sets are going to be welded off onto that. Um, here, this is going to be taken out, and this is a one and a half inch outer diameter. Um, I'm going to weld it from here over to here, where you can see where it is there. So it's going to look like a continuous piece going across here without the square piece. So, uh, yeah, that's the plans for that. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to make a short video because some guys have been asking. So, uh, here it is.